Boy in the Dark is a short, dramatic horror film. It follows Jake, an introverted kid who draws monsters to cope with the recent loss of his mom. Jake's consumed by fear. Fear of life, fear of death, and a paralyzing fear of the dark. This project came about when a close friend of mine suggested that I write a film based on the opening of my recent TEDx talk. In it, I described how, as a child, I had a very horrible combination of an overactive imagination and insomnia. Jake's imagination breathes unnatural life into the darkness, allowing shapes to clump together, rotting flesh, driven by the unrelenting desire to terrify, smother, to kill. While these night terrors Jake experiences are imaginary, in the light of day, Jake does face real fear as well when he's confronted by Brad, a bully at school, who physically and mentally terrorizes Jake on a daily basis. These two worlds collide when Brad steals Jake's sketchbook, forcing Jake to overcome his fears and stand up for who he is. Jake's dad deals with fear of his own, the fear and powerlessness that comes when you send your child out into the world, knowing you can't always be there to protect them. My first love is drawing, and getting into this project gave me the perfect excuse to just start doing a ton of pencil drawings again. I, I took an extra bit of pleasure customizing Jake's sketchbook with this toothy, gnarly monster swirling out of the darkness. And I'm also aiming to draw a monster a day in his sketchbook, which I'll be posting on this page and also on our Facebook page so that you guys can see the process and, and see all the creatures start to populate the book. One of the coolest things about this film is that we're doing it practical effects driven, which means that we'll be filming all of the monsters and blood and creature effects live on set. It's more real for the audience, but it's also more real for the actors. Being menaced by this, this creepy, oozy, dark, scary creature right there on set with them. To make this happen, we've employed the services of our friends over at Pandora FX. Margaret Kerrigan and her team of badasses will be handling all of the bloody noses and bruises and cuts that Jake will endure, as well as the application of prosthetics, paint, and special effects makeup for our hero creature Diana and the assortment of night terrors who menace Jake in the dark. I met Jason somewhere around 10 years ago. He has this great visual vocabulary. Encyclopedic, he can pull up and remember a lot of different looks. He knows what he would want uh, as a director. Then for the costumes, the amazing Rachel Dagdigan will be heading up our wardrobe department and building for us some custom special items, including the tattered black ooze soaked dress worn by Diana and a 10 foot tall body bag that will become Jake's backpack in a dream sequence. We are fortunate to have assembled the incredible and talented team that we have for our crew for this film. But that's not enough. That's not the whole group that we need. We need you to become part of our team. Without your help, there, there won't be a film. You will decide whether this film gets made. You will decide if this story gets told. Making a film, even a short film, can be a pretty complex and expensive undertaking, especially a horror film whose story is driven by special makeup effects. So every dollar you contribute to our campaign will go directly into the film. In exchange for your generous donations, we really want to give you a piece of the film and regular updates of our progress. So stay tuned. Please contribute what you can. Share the page, spread the word. Or scream in terror. And thank you all so much.